I believe that residents want good school. I believe that residents want to live in safe communities. I believe that our residents want good, decent places to live. It's amazing to see what's happening here in the city of Philadelphia. Oh, I see a lot of good things coming in the future around here. The light is shining on this neighborhood now. People are seeing things here now that we saw years ago. This is a neighborhood that prior to the 1960s was an upper middle class professional neighborhood. As I recall growing up, there were more businesses on the avenues, you know, there were shoe stores, clothing stores. We had drug stores, we had the fish, uh, at a fish market. There were live chicken stores. The ladies would go out there and they'd go back and do the chicken in and then bring him out, you know. <laughs> the race riots of the 1960s really took its toll on, on this neighborhood. We saw the exodus of manufacturing. There were no developments or public investments. And so Blumberg became one of those sites that characterized what became of public housing. We had gang wars around there. You know, our children weren't allowed to go here, they weren't allowed to go there. I've been around here over 30 something years. It's been rough to uh, live around here. It's been vicious. What existed here was housing of last resort. The folks who lived here lived here primarily because they didn't have any alternatives. And what we're trying to do is to change that. The vision for the neighborhood is exactly what the community has asked for. A neighborhood of choice where families of all income levels will choose to live where we have high quality housing that is mixed income, where we have amenities, where we have a small business corridor that helps sustain the residents that we have here. We have an opportunity, a great opportunity, to rebuild this community for people that live in this community, providing opportunities, investment in housing, investment in commercial activities, more importantly, investment in its people. I was born in this neighborhood. So this neighborhood always been extremely important. And it's great to see the rebirth of this community. And it's great to see PHA leading the effort, bringing the coalitions together. And it's through the collective partnerships, the city, the state, uh, the federal government, and all of the very, what you call, community organizations, the importance of them working together. Partnership is important to making projects like this happen. It's important that we work not just with government, but we work with the private industry and private contractors, and most importantly with neighbors. Working with PHA is, 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 is a great partnership, and I just see it getting better and better and better. I think that this new initiative by the Philadelphia Housing Authority will uh, turn out positive for this North Philadelphia area. This is the center of the transformative work that we're doing to rebuild Blumberg Shawswood. Look around. You're seeing what is the site of the former Blumberg High Rises that were demolished almost two years ago now. I'm standing on the connected 23rd Street. This all used to be a super block. And so we've reintegrated uh, the city's streetscape back into the development. It's gonna be a green street. It's gonna be walkable. One, two, three. The scope of the housing portion is uh, broadly targeted for 400 total units. I think that 400 units is broken down roughly into 300 units of affordable rental housing and then 100 or so market rate for sale housing units. Uh, and the, the, the plan of action is to phase both the rental and the home ownership simultaneously so that you have a concurrent development execution. Our overall vision for city neighborhoods have to do with equity. So merging, rebuild by improving our facilities, rec centers, libraries and parks, along with building housing that is affordable to people, uh, it will make the, holistically make the whole neighborhood better, safer, or more equitable for everyone. Habitat for Humanity has partnered with PHA over the last number of years to help preserve existing affordable housing. Repairing roofs, plumbing, electrical, critical repairs, right, to stabilize the homes, stabilize families in their homes. So we've repaired 55 homes of residents, long-time residents, elderly residents who have lived in Sharswood, 
This mirrors what's happening in the private development side very well with a public investment that will raise all housing stock uh, and make the neighborhood again more equitable for everyone to live in and to afford to live in. This whole opportunity providing uh, job, providing educational opportunities with the new school, the newly reconfigured Vault School that I believe is at some point is going to be replicated across the country. With our work here at Vox, I believe that this can transform a community. We're working on co-locating with a community-based health clinic, with continuing adult ed, with dual enrollment programs for our kids, with mental behavioral support, job training, et cetera, to meet the needs of our students, the families, and the community. With the talent that already exists and the people that already exist with their community and their hopes and dreams, I believe that Vox and Philadelphia Housing Authority and all the other programs that are working in Charleswood can bring new opportunities to these families and these students to help them have choices in their lives. All of this is about human decency. How people live, how they socialize, how they find social and economic mobility, how they achieve the American dream. We talk about housing, we talk about real estate, but at the end of the day, it's really about the people and the families that ultimately have an opportunity to share and reap the benefits of a newly developed, revitalized community. Well, I'm always optimistic about what we can do because I understand with good people, good intentions, and a good vision that positive things will happen. Change is coming. I would say that change is here. I see residents who are hopeful for the future, who want something different for themselves and their children. I see young people who have tremendous potential. I see an excitement for the future that is promising. You'll be able to walk the streets again. My wife can't wait to get back here. This block is it's gonna be different. It's gonna be different. <laughs>